हेलो एवरी वन लेटेस्ट टूडे लर्न पी एल सी प्रोग्रामिंग मेथड लैटर डायग्राम सो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू एग्जाम इन द बेसिक सिम्बॉल्स विच आर यूज इन लैडर डायग्राम फॉर द प्रोग्रामिंग ऑफ पी एल सीज ऑल्सो यू कैन राइट स्मॉल लैडर रंग डायग्राम्स फॉर बेसिक लॉजिक फंक्शंस सो बिफोर गोइंग टू learn ladder diagrams let us go through the programming techniques which are used for plc programming so first one is the ladder diagrams in which writing a program is just equivalent to drawing a switching circuit second method is the functional block diagram method in which graphical blocks are used to write programs third one is the instruction list in which series of instructions are used to write programs which is very similar to writing assembly language programs in microcontrollers then sequential function charts so in this a pictorial representation of systems operations are described by number of specific separate sequentially connected states or steps which are normally represented by rectangular boxes so it's like a flow chart there is one more method structural text so in in this a uh, series of statements which are separated by semicolons are used to write programs so this method is very similar to pascal programming language now let us start a uh, first programming method ladder diagrams so let us understand first the structure of ladder diagrams so in a ladder diagram two vertical lines are there which represents power rails and the circuit which you want to implement is connected as horizontal lines between these two power rails and basically this is known as rungs of the ladder diagram so here you will see that these two lines represents power rails whereas this switch and this motor together makes a rung so here if the switch is pressed motor will start if switch is released motor will stop so this is a simple single rung represent here now let us take one example how an electrical circuit is converted in a ladder diagram okay so here one example is shown here we have a dc input in series with switch and motor so when the switch is pressed motor should start and when the switch is released motor should stop so this is for representation only okay but this is the a simple example to understand a small ladder run so here one switch is required so in a ladder diagram this dc input is represented by these two power rails and this switch and motor are connected in series between these two power rails so this become one rung so this is a simple way to convert your electrical circuit into a ladder diagram now let us understand this rung in more details so here between these two power lines multiple runs are shown so power always flows from left to right also each rung on the ladder diagram defines one specific operation in the control process you need to always read a ladder diagram from left to right and from top to bottom 
a device can appear in more than one rung of a ladder diagram so this depends again up upon the operation which you are going to perform through plc so now this rung must always start with at least one input or inputs and must end with at least one output so here the input is nothing but the control action such as closing a contact switch or a input from sensor etc whereas this output is a device connected to the output such as motor actuator or lamps or relays for example so these are the two basic elements of this ladder diagram now let us learn some symbols which are used to draw ladder diagrams so switches are available in two forms normally open normally close so here normally open switch is normally open until some object closes it and it is always shown as open whereas normally close is a switch that is normally closed okay there is always a contact between two terminals next the output coil so this is the symbol for output coil so if the power flows th through it then the coil state is on otherwise it's in the off state there is one more symbol which is used to represent non relay logic operations that is functional block and the non relay logic operations such as timers counters are used in normal plc programming so this depends on the application or operation which you want to implement now let us develop some ladder rung diagrams for simple logic functions so here let us take this example in which we are going to develop a ladder rung diagram in which an output is not energized unless two normally open switches are both closed so here this is the input supply then switch 1 switch 2 and uh, led is connected in series so when these two switches are closed then and then only this led will glow otherwise this led will always off so if you observe this is a simple and operation so let us develop a ladder rung diagram to perform this and operation so here basically you required two normally open switches and one output coil so all these are connected in series so in a ladder diagram you will see that between these two power rails two switches and this output coil all are connected in series so whenever the switch one is energized you will observe that there is still no connection between these two power rails the led will remain off or this load will remain off suppose switch 2 independently energized by assume that switch 1 is normally open so if you close switch 2 still there is no connection between these two power rails so still in this case also led will be in off state but consider this one one more case in which both the switches are 
operated okay energized so when these two when these both switches are energized there is a path between these two parallels and this led will change its state so this output coil will change its state from off to on so this is a simple ladder rung diagram for an and operation in which two switches are connected in series with a output coil Uh, let us take some time and develop a ladder run diagram for this example 2 so in this example 2 uh, the condition is output is not energized unless either of two or both normally open switches are closed so take some time and draw a simple ladder run diagram for this operation so to solve this you you need to understand the statement so if you read this statement carefully you will observe that uh, this is a simple or operation so in uh, or operation you required two switches as they have provided two switches in the specification so these two switches are placed in parallel and in with in series with power supply and this led so this placement of switch 1 and switch 2 provides you the OR operation. So if either of these two switch changes from normally open to normally close, normally open to closed state. So for example if switch 1 is closed, the circuit will complete and the LED will glow. Or instead of switch 1, switch 2 is closed still the circuit will complete and in the same in this case also led will glow and obviously when the both the switches are closed still there is a there is a closed path so in this case also led will glow only the case in which both switches are open the led will be off so here if you observe you require two normally open switches and one output coil which represents LED and these two, two switches are connected in parallel so in the ladder run diagram also these two normally open switches are connected in parallel but in series with this output coil ok so if the switch mean if the switch one is energized there is a path the output coil which coil will change its states from off to on if switch two is energized in the this case also the output coil will change from off to on state as there is a path between these two parallels so these are the two simple logical operations and and or which we have implemented using two rung diagrams or we have drawn two rung diagrams for these two logic functions for further reading you can refer this book thank you